<laughs> oh man. Okay. <clears throat> so today the Reddit tip is brought to you by Continuous Good Times. <laughs> Uh, okay, so check this out. <clears throat> Have you guys ever seen these kind of things? Let me let me just pull it up on screen. It's a uh, like a wood slat ceiling. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can find one here. <laughs> I'm gonna put that up there in the corner and switch it here. This is what I'm talking about right here. <clears throat> let me move my face. Okay, right here. Do you guys see this? It's a wood slat ceiling and the project that. I am, uh, was involved with recently, um, they wanted to do a wood slat ceiling. And I said, yeah, the best way to do that is to use beams. And so we put a, we had to make a wooden beam, which was like a one by four or one by five, whatever it was. And then we made a beam system. We told the beam to be every few inches, but I was talking to this one lady, Sakti is her name. Thank you, Sakti. And she says, um, well, actually, she was putting in a pergola over the top or in, like an outside pergola. And she used something different than a beam system, which I would have typically used. And I was like, what? And I'm going to show you what she did. And I just want to thank you, Sakti, right now for your great idea that I can pass on to everybody else out there in that video. And, uh, whatchamacallit, um, YouTube land and the Reddit users. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna show you what she did. And it's not my idea, but oh man, she's smart and she figured it out. And she said, hey, is, does this work? I was like, works better than I could do. And so I, I congratulated her on getting really smart. I pretended like, I was like, whoa. I wasn't so excited, because I was. It's the inside, I'm like, I'm gonna show people that, okay. Anyway, so here we go. Here in Reddit, let me just move my face over here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to bring up, uh, let's go to 3D. We like 3D. 3D, we get to see our little house. We go, oh my gosh, what a beautiful little house it is. I wish I worked there. It's a great spot. It's probably the, all the best architects work here. Okay. Okay. So all the best architects also need a pergola outside outside the building over here sometimes they need it inside the building like this huh inside beautiful amazingness these are all really cool but you can we're going to make some wood slats and i'm going to show you how easy it is to um, to make this happen it could be an interior ceiling could be an outside pergola could be anything but wait for it here goes okay what we're going to do is go to a roof what a roof yeah 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 here we go thank you Sakti. but before we make that roof uh, okay i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna show you guys here's a roof i'm gonna go to um roof okay and it wants to know my bearing sure i'll say eh, how about off the first floor makes sense why not it's like a it's a first floor item here we go i'm say yes okay of course it puts us in this um, sketch mode so we're drawing the perimeter and I'm just gonna keep it simple and make it a rectangle could be any shape you guys can mm, 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 make some really cool stuff but we're just gonna keep it simple today and we're gonna make a, a pergola mm -hmm, out right here mm -hmm, out from this building and it's gonna be sticking right there la 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 okay and one of the one of the things you got to do is make sure that all of these lines here are not not defining a slope we want a flat slope yes we can we can slope this pergola we can you can slope it okay and it'll deal with the um the same there it is look at that beautiful pergola no that's not the pergola that when i click on it is a basic 12 inch thick roof well i'm gonna con that's when i made it into see we can um use edit footprint to change the shape we can use modify sub elements to slope it and make it go where we want to okay but i'm going to click on over that oh wait over there take a look 
generic 12 inch. I'm going to switch the type. If you go all the way to the bottom of your basic roof types, there's a setting at the bottom called sloped glazing. Sloped glazing. And if I turn it into sloped glazing, look what it is. It's a piece of flat glass. Well, that's all I want. So let me just duplicate and I'll show you what I do want. Wait for it. We're going to pre-make, before I convert this into the most amazing pergola you ever saw, we're going to pre-make like a 1x4 and a 1x or 2x6 frame for this pergola system. Okay, watch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. Look over there. Look, uh, look, look over there. Okay. Um, we're looking at the families. And we're going to go down through the family list. And we're going to go find ourselves curtain wall mullions. What? Curtain wall mullions? What are you talking about? Bear with me. Curtain wall mullions. And I'm going to go to rectangular mullion. And I'm just going to click on this 1x4 rectangular. I'm going to right click and duplicate it. So I get a second one. Okay. I'm just going to say wood. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call it W-O-O-D wood. Wood. A one by four wood, see? And I'm going to double click it. And here in the properties, I'm going to tell the material not to be aluminum. And tell it to be wood. <laughs> wood, wood. You know, give it the right material that it is in the mullion. Ooh, never thought of that. Okay. So I type in wood in my search field. I get a bunch of them. I'll just, I'll just pick pine to make it easy on us all. Okay. All right. And it's a one by four. And so you can look here. That's four inches by one. If you add these two together, it's um, that's where you've got the grid line and it'll center itself. You can make it shift whatever side you want. You know, you can make it go boom, boom. But I, I like to keep them centered. So I put half of the width on either side of it, the dimension. So I say, okay, so I'm done. I've got a one by four ready to go when I need it. But I am going to duplicate that and make maybe a two by six, like the frame on the exterior side. So I'm going to rename this. <laughs> now that I've duplicated it, I'm going to make it a two by six wood. Why not? Okay. And I'm going to double click it and open it up. And here we go. Remember, it's going to be six inches in, um, in its construction right there. But it's going to be one inch on either side. So I'm going to go one inch on that side and one inch on that side okay two by six get it and yes we could mess with the fact okay a real two by six is actually only um one and a half by five and a half shut up do the math yourself uh, did i say shut up <laughs> sorry sorry listen do the math yourself figure it out i'm just showing you how this works okay okay we're moving on now I've pre-made some mullions. So what I'm going to do is click on this piece of glass that we've got down here. And if you look over, it's just slope glazing. I'm going to duplicate it by hitting edit type, duplicate, and I'm going to call this pergola. Wood pergola. And I spelled it right the first time. <laughs> it's always good to see. Okay, ready for that? We're going to have a grid. Look at this. <clears throat> Curtain panel. The curtain panel on ours is going to be, ready, empty. We don't want glass there. It's just a pergola. Okay? Stick with me. On the layout, I want the slats every, I don't know, fixed distance. Let's not make them five feet. Let's make them every eight inches. Okay? Every eight inches. You can make them as often as you want. Six inches. Who cares? Look at me changing things even before I even show it to you. Okay. Now, the grid layout we're going to have um, no grid going the other direction because I just want it to span one direction. So the grid two is set at nothing. But here we go. The mullions. The grid one is going to be your main, your primary mullion size side, which is um, the joist direction, if you will. OK, and so I'm going to say the grid one. I want those mullions, those grid to be the one by four woods. And then the two sides that would be the bracing and the framing is to be the two by six wood. And I'll make the other one a two by six wood also. Now, the grid two, since I don't have a grid two going the other direction, 
the main, you know, the interior, I'm going to say none. But I would like the perimeter to also be the two by six. And this one said it two by six. So you guys ready for this? Do you see how easy this is? You realize what we're doing here? Okay. I'm going to say, okay. And that is what we're going. <laughs> what? It already did it. Just that fast before I had a chance to say, now look to your left. It was done already. <laughs> okay. Now here's the kicker. I can tell it to go up um, like nine feet. Bing. You can move this thing up to um, where, oops, I've got it crashing into my, my roof. Okay. Look, gosh, I'm just going to move it out of the way so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. We can put columns up underneath it to hold it this, or it's suspended from the ceiling above. It's if it's an interior, but do you see what we have here, people? Do you see what just happened? Are you kidding me? This is, this is amazing. And I can change the spacing on this and the mullion sizes and types anytime I want. I can slope this thing. I can do whatever I want to it. It's fantastic. And this is the way to go when you are making these type of things, these ceiling, wood ceiling structures. We can make any mullion, any thickness, anything we want. You could turn the boards flat like they have in some of these other pictures or more commonly keep them vertical like in these guys these pictures you can have a perimeter piece of wood or not if you don't want a perimeter piece of wood you don't have to have a perimeter piece of wood just saying so back here to Revit let's just click on it and say you know what our wood pergola we need to change the spacing to every eight inches bam you just click the button and your design team ups, updates boom it's fast and it works. It's amazing. And if you absolutely needed to control exactly where all of the pieces and parts were, you could do that. This pergola is one that is, um, <clears throat> you can, you can put in grids and put in different members on those grids. And then the rest will fill in with your, your interior grid. It's amazing. I want you guys to try this. Put in yourself some sloped glazing as a roof and then add the, uh, the different rectangular mullions made out of wood or metal or whatever and apply them to that. So go try this. You'll find it's amazing. It works great. And it uh, and well, I can't wait to see the stuff that you guys come up with. All right. I hope that helps. I hope you have a really good time with this Revit tip. And until next time, continuous good times. <laughs> I will talk to you later. And I didn't, I didn't pause it. It's not paused. What do you do? How do you pause this thing? Oh, there's the pause button. See ya.